get have a little introduction to the course itself. These are just important announcements that I need to make sure that uh, you're familiar with before we move forward. Um, there are three major issues about this course. And the first one has to do with a level playing field. We are so not all starting at the same place. And we're all going to grow, but it may be at different rates. Some of you are coming in and you have a world of experiment, experience, say, with web development. But you may never have done anything with multimedia. Others of you may have tried out PowerPoint, but that's the only computer-based thing you've ever done. Um, that's fine. What I need you to understand is that we're all, this course is set up so you come in where you are and that we all grow. And that's one thing I really like about teaching this course is I grow through it too every time I teach it. Um, so please don't feel like we're, not co we're coming in and all of us trying to attain a certain level, we're not. We're trying to come in as we are and then learn new things about teaching with technology and grow from there. So keep that in mind. I'm going to often ask you to stretch yourself and that's what I mean is start where you are and then, and then grow. Okay, we do this course specifically online because we found through research that working within your own context really helps you retain and, and transfer knowledge. When we have professional developments, and you've been a part of these, that you go into a certain training area like at OSU in a computer lab, you can do whatever you're being taught right there with the presenter standing right over you, but then you get back to your school and you forget all about it and it doesn't work at your school in the same way and it doesn't. It just doesn't function too well. So we've set this course up to work within the context of your own school. So there are going to be times that you may all be using different software, things that you actually have access to. And I want you to be real verbal with me about here's what I've got, here's what I need to learn, here's what I'd like to try, because that's one of the beauties of this course. Now, this course isn't teaching you about technology. We're not going to... Um, we're going to talk more about how you teach with technology, and we're going to use all kinds of tools, but I'm not going to take you through tutorials and that sort of thing. You're actually going to learn about teaching with technology, not just about technology as a thing. I hope that makes sense. Okay, the textbook that we're going to be using is on the screen here. You've probably already purchased it. We're going to have quizzes on the chapters. There's a DVD in the back. That I don't have assigned, but they're pretty interesting to watch. So I have a discussion area that we can discuss those when you do watch them, but they are not, it's not a graded assignment. Everything we do in the course is geared toward um, a final teaching with technology electronic portfolio that you will have finished by the end of this class. And it's really a fun thing because everybody who's taken this class is so proud of their teaching with technology electronic portfolio and they show everyone. So um, I look forward to seeing yours by the end of the class. This is an online course. We may have, we may want to plan a time to meet midway face to face just to touch base. Um, at the end of the year I really like to have a time that we get together and show off all our great work. Um, so be thinking of those. We'll, we'll talk more about them as they come but also be aware you may need to email me and say hey I've got to have some face to face time when are your office hours or when can we meet? Don't hesitate to do that sort of thing, even though it's an online course. Um, there's another video that I walk you through the online course system, oc.okstate.edu. So I'm not going to go into it too much, but that's the first thing you're going to want to do. Well, you're already there if you're watching this video, so um, you're already in. But keep up with that course website, or if you get behind, it's really hard. Here are a few simple rules I have for the class. One is stretch yourself. The, um, that's the most important thing is you, you know where you're coming in. You know whether what abilities you have and what experience you've already have, what tools are at your school. And if you don't, you'll find out where you are and then we're just going to stretch and grow from there. Um, again, each one of you brings different expertise. All of you are experts in teaching and learning. Um, so we're going to be adding some of the the technology components to enhancing student learning in your classroom. I really like it when when we do these assignments and you use something the next day or the next week in your classroom. So make sure and tell the rest of us about that because we really do want to hear it. Um, here's another little rule and I mention it in an, in another video in the online introduction. But when we're doing discussion it helps so much if you change the subject heading 
before, when you post your reply. That just is so much cleaner to try to read. We're looking for quality in the discussion board, not quantity. So don't feel like you have to post o over and over and over. And if you are posting, make sure it, there's some substance to it. Don't just post that you agree. Um, that way, space and time. Um, actually, question your classmates. Um, get to know them better through the discussion board. Share ideas. Um, it, we're really looking for quality, not quantity. Uh, I mentioned before taking each assignment and being able to use it in a practical way in your classroom. That's really exciting when you can do that. And notice I put stretch yourself down there a second time. Mm, that must be an important thing to do in this class. Hint, hint. Okay. Um, we're going to use a lot of different software tools and we're going to rely heavily on what you have at your school too because I found if you use what you've got already, you'll actually transfer that and keep using it. While you are enrolled as an OSU student, you get all kinds of free stuff. I, and I don't know that this is very well advertised, but if you go to this URL, it.okstate.edu slash MCA, that stands for Microsoft Campus Agreement, um, there's all kinds of free software to download. Everything from Windows Vista, the operating system, to McAfee virus protection. Make sure you have that up and going. We're going to be trading a lot of files around in this class, and we don't want to be trading viruses along with it. Um, the full version of Office 2007 or 2003. If you're a Mac user, there's all kinds of software for Macs too. Um, but make sure and go to that website and start getting your free stuff. Right now, what you need to be doing at the beginning of the course is use these first two weeks. The introduction module is two weeks long, and I did that on purpose to give you time to get used to the online course system and what's there. You're going to be putting together your personal homepage in the online course. Um, um, if you have instant messaging names and, and things like that that you can send me, that'll help us communicate throughout the course. Um, go to the discussion board. You'll see when you go to the online course introduction that I've posted that it's, a, it's very linear. So when you go in, look at the announcements, then go straight to content, and then just follow in a step-by-step -step fashion, and you're going to be fine. All right, and then keep in mind throughout this whole course that by the very end, we're going to have finished a Teaching with Technology electronic portfolio that's built as a wiki on the web. Now the last thing I want to talk about in this short video is the technology learning cycle. This entire course is built on this theory of learning and I really like this because it's, it's so applicable to every aspect of our lives. We start a learning cycle at the point of awareness. We become aware of something new. Um, it may be it, it may be a type of cell phone or how to text. All of you have probably learned that in the past few years is how to text with your cell phone. You became aware of it because somebody, probably a kid, said, hey, mom, I need to text you. And um, so you, you became aware of it. You explored it. You filtered out what, what may or may not work for you. Then you learned how to do it. And then you started applying it either in your personal or professional life. And then naturally what we do as adult learners is is share it with somebody else and reflect on, wow, this really makes my life easier. I'll share it with my friend and then I'll teach them how to text. Now, once you've been through that cycle once, you come in at a different level of awareness um, at, than you were before. So it sort of acts as a slinky more than just a circle, more than just a flat circle. It's a continual learning cycle that you come in at new awareness. Now this is going to happen a lot in this class. You're going to become aware of something new. You're going to have a chance to explore it, filter out what will work for you and what won't, and um, then actually learn how to use it, apply it with, with something that you create or do, and then share with others and reflect on your learning. So every module is set up according to this learning cycle. I want you to be familiar with, with what it's all about. Okay, more later. Enjoy. Jump in there to the on online course and, and play around. You cannot hurt anything, so click around and find out what's there, and um, let's get to work.